Hello, uh, I'm Richard Raffin. Uh, what I have here is a log of hue and pine. Uh, it's around, I don't know exactly what it is. It's around eight inches diameter, maybe a little bit more. It's got a couple of knots. Uh, and I was hoping to get some bowls out of this, uh, but it's not gonna happen. Um, and you'll see why when we take a closer look at this log. So the first thing uh, which jumps to my eye, and I hope to yours, is this little crack there. Now that is, uh, goes around with the grain. It's what we call a cup shake. And uh, it's, if we're not lucky, it'll go all the way down to the log. Now, I happen to know that we're not lucky because I've already cut a bit off this end. It's very difficult to discern the split there. But when I cut that little bit off, I can now, just by pressing it a little bit, you see all the the cracks opening up. So you can see that this central bit, and it's also cracking around there, is all but ready to fall apart. So we're really going to start looking, when I'm cutting this, at looking at, we've got the center, there's no split in the center, so that's one bit I can probably look at. And everything else is going to have to come out of these little curve sections, which is uh, very disappointing, but not unusual. I can see another split just there. So I need to decide first what sort of things I can make out of it. Now there are uh, there are small bowls in there, I suppose. There are a few splits on the outside here. So if I chose to have a, some kind of natural edge, in the unlikely event I can get enough wood out to make a bowl or something like that, uh, I could detail those and I can usually personally live with splits on a natural rim provided I burn them out and do some detailing with them. Now I've got a knot there and I'm really thinking in terms of, I was hoping at one stage uh, to get some of my tower boxes which are quite long, about up to a foot tall out of this uh, and I might still go for that. Um, I'm just going to take a cut, where shall I go? I need to really cut free of the split and uh, this was on this edge so I've really got to match that back to where it came from which uh, was not there. That might have been it. No, nope, that wasn't it. It's up there. So having got that, I can now mark where my main splits are. Oh, that's the split I already marked. So that's, I was uh, about right there. So I think my first cut uh, is probably going to be across at that angle. Put those away for a moment. Or put those aside. I haven't thrown them away. So I want to get the log going through at that angle. The log's heavy enough. I think I can push that safely through. So I want to mark my entry point, which is going to be up there. And I want to keep it at that angle. And once it's in the blade, then um, that'll pretty well keep it upright. No break on this, that is my break. And just brush this off. So that's nice and clean where it is. And I'm now looking for squares to make boxes from. And uh, the knot there, I'm not going to get anything out of that. So my next cut is up here. Don't need all that blade exposed. Just make sure I can get under that one. Now here it is very nice stuff to work. Um, and highly prized in Tasmania. Um, and We'll just keep the offcuts to see what we can do with them later. 
that now comes up on edge and I take a cut down here to get a little board out of it and Now that is clean. That is clean. Little bits of splits coming through here. Which I... But the boxes I have in mind, uh, I can probably get rid of. So I've got that thickness to play with. Which is 60 mil. About uh, two and a bit inches. Take this down. to get another bit out of this, another square. Might as well look at the offcut, it's easier. Right. There's a knot there which is I can possibly keep. Um, but that basically is one very tall box, lid, base, uh, or maybe three smaller ones. And I've got another lot there, so that's good. Much more than I thought I was going to get out of it. Now we'll have a look at the other side. I seem to have got rid of that split, which I find incredible. Right, so, didn't look closely enough. Split there and it comes down to at least there. Slim th thin slither and see if it bends. That means so you're going to cut a bit more off just to be sure. And that doesn't want to break. That's very good. That's end grain. It's Likely to split anyway, I was a bit forceful there. Ah, oh, right. So that's a split. Which I can't see on the end of the log. But I think it's connected with a little split there. So I'll just take that off and I'll think in terms of... Ah, oh, there's a split coming in from the knot here. So I'm just... Oh, and all the way down there. So that comes off. okay that's a good blank a blank like that can probably be made into an egg or something come back and look at the rest now we already know what happened up at the other end so um, I'm still inclined to hang on to that bit for the moment split down to there make it a bit no oh no we'll just keep it there
doesn't want to break. There we do the same thing. I'm going to take a big enough piece off that be something you can do with the flitch. No marks, no uh, no problems there, uh, and I might just take a square off this side. That's going to be a much thinner one. Just want to get rid of the split. But I look at it here. There's a split there, so I could cut down there, which I think is what I will do. Except on the inside, we've got a split as far as that, and maybe round to here. Just take this bit off and see what it's looking like. So there we are, that's lined up there, so I really reckon I can probably get a blank out of the middle there. And I can see that at the other end there's still a small split just there. So I'm going to go for something up the middle and just hopefully the, the bad bits will get cut away. take an edge cut from the edge of that split from the middle bit to about there so basically from there down splits so I'll get rid of those now you can see as I do this I'm going to come down to a smaller square. So I'm thinking here of what I can make out of what's left. Right, spatulas in there. And to lose a bit of that because of the cup shake. We'll round off there. We'll just cut the end off here and see what's happening. No effort required there. Right, cut that into kind of pen blank length. appears to be solid. This is the thinner side, 3 inches, 75 millimeters. Right, now, which side am I going to cut off? this side. That's the width. Right, 
pretty well square. Right, that is another tall box blank. So at this stage I've got quite a handy clutch of blanks. Uh, this is the one I've just cut uh, and I have those for my tall boxes. We then have po possible spatula material, same again, that will be cut into a thin board. And I think I'll just go through these, uh, just cut them up quickly and you can see roughly where I'm going with it. So I'm now looking at spatulas, um, which will be square at one end, uh, where the handle is, and broadly going down the other end like that. Fairly even thickness, that's slightly wider. So in fact I'll move my handle over that side, just cut it down. Back the way it is, you could just do it this way. Do a couple of stirrers. Right, the bigger ones. It's worth having a look at maybe getting a bowl out of something like this little bowl. Little ring bowl, something like that. There's a knot there which might yield some good grain. Yep, it's looking quite promising. Right, there's a split there which will cut out. Split there which is going up at an angle. There's a split there, but on the other hand it's quite thick. So, I can think in terms of a, uh, a box blank there, or little, little boxes, little cross grain boxes, which will think in those terms. One. So, just little squares. broken but don't think I'm going to lose very much of that but I can also come in from the other side that's fairly tough so I um, these will go onto a um, onto a hole drilled onto a chuck uh, with a hole drilled in the middle so that'd be good so we're already if I'm looking at recovering money from this I'm already looking at about fifty dollars there uh, we've got this which uh, oh there's another possibly another spatula in here a stirrer yes good so that's the handle end It'll be very nice. This one looks fairly solid around there. I'll just get some of the end off. Take all the thin bit off. That'll just be a little kind of ring dish. That's all getting a bit thin, so... We'll have a look at much thinner kind of material for maybe... Right, I can get sticks, spillicon sticks out of that, so I need to cut with the grain.
and the rest of that will be straightened up on a uh, table saw so I can cut accurate, really accurate blanks. This will probably be the same and it's uh, about three quarters of an inch. No, it's not near an inch. So um, I can cut this in half and uh, get most of the sticks I'd want for, a, for pick up sticks out of that. So I'll cut that on the circular saw down there. Spillicans. Nothing much I can do with that. nothing much to do with this. And I can probably get yes, I can probably get uh, two or three spillican sticks out of that. Now, that's the big bits now. We've got the, the squares. This is where the pith is. Lots of lovely grain in that. But a nasty split just there. Going into the pith. So I'll just square this up. I've got a kind of split there too. I would... Pen blanks. And that will become a little bowl or something, or maybe just a ball. That was the egg, and that's it. So in the end I've got my uh, potential spillican sticks or spatulas. Three definite spatulas, although they two could make spillican sticks. I've got this little batch of small bowl blanks which I could leave square and uh, just turn little square bowls. Uh, I've got another blank which might well make a small box by the look of it. Uh, it looks quite nice. And then I have this lot which are a potential group of boxes. Um, uh, and. We'll see how that goes in another video.